flinging into the world of fling. Hello language enthusiasts. Today, we are diving deep into the word fling. By the end of this video, you'll not only know its meaning but also how to use it confidently in various contexts. Let's fling ourselves into it. Fling primarily means to throw something with force or without much care. Picture someone throwing a stone into a pond. They might fling it. Example, she flung the book onto the table in anger. Another meaning of fling is a short period of enjoyment or wild behavior. This can often refer to a brief romantic or sexual relationship. Example, after the breakup, he had a brief fling with someone from work, but it didn't last. While fling can be a verb as we saw in the previous sections, it can also be a noun. As a noun, it can mean an act of throwing or a short period of indulgence or adventure. Examples, with a fling of his arm, the pebbles skipped across the lake. Her summer fling in Spain was full of adventure and new experiences. There are phrases that use fling in them. Let's look at a couple. 1. Have a fling at. This means to try something out, even if just once. Example. 2. I thought I'd have a fling at skiing while I was in the mountains. 3. Fling oneself into. This means to do something with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. Example, 4. She flung herself into her studies after realizing her passion for biology. Fling is a versatile word, isn't it? From throwing things to diving into new experiences, it's a term that adds zest to the English language. We hope you found this exploration of fling enlightening and enjoyable. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll be flinging this word into your conversations with ease.